Hi lads, welcome back to another Dauntless video. Today I've got you the third instalment for our builds for Frost Escalation Preparation. Today's going to be a hammer build, aka the Hammer of Control. The reason why this name is given this is because we're going to be using the Avatar of Control for this build. Once again, if you are new, feel free to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I've still got one more build already lined up. I might make another couple of videos as well before, well, if I can, before uh, the time is up for our review of Frost Escalation. But regardless, I still have another build for you. So if you do want to see that, feel free to subscribe. But regardless, we are using the Magma Quake Hammer today with uh, Cunning, Discipline, Mighty Land Breaker, Extended Clip, and Inferno's Burden as the bond. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of the, the build here. I'm just going to tell you the perk summary. Uh, the Lantern is going to be Ember's main because of the attack speed. We're also going to be using the Blitz Frenzy as we, as we have done for the previous uh, builds. And again, the Cleansing Pylon to prevent us from getting Frostbite really quickly. Our perk summary looks a bit like this. Plus 6 of Iceborne, Rage, Wild Frenzy. Plus 6 of Conduit. But you can use Catalyst when the Frost Escalation comes out. But because Catalyst isn't actually here as a cell. Oh, I misclicked. As a cell. I have to go with the Conduit or else I actually would have gone with Catalyst. Uh, a plus 6 of Overpower, leaving plus 3 of Cunning and plus 3 of Discipline. Just a quick side note, this won't actually be Cunning, this will be Berserker. But if you are struggling uh, to keep your health up, then just change this back to Cunning. Just to illustrate the Amp Tree for this particular build as well, it's still exactly the same apart from one change at the end. We're running the, obviously, plus 3 of the passive movement here. The Insulator Gear 1, Insulator Gear 2, plus 3 of the granting 50% passive for stagger damage. The Bottled Warmth, Insulated 3, passive increase for 50% damage reduction. Warm Blooded, increase attack damage, passive 10%, increase 15% passive damage recall strike. And then finally, the Aspect of Defender. This basically allows you, to, when the Behemoth is staggered, it, gains two, it allows you to gain 2% increased attack speed for the remainder of the escalation. This does scale by the way. This increases the fall if you are Avatar of Control, which we are going to be using. So we're going to get that nice benefit of 4% every time we get a stagger. Just believe that what they say is true. 
change No, we're never gonna be the same And it's only gonna